first opened in 2017. There's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one in the NFC, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Atlanta Falcons. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And out now come the Eagles. First play, and Hurts looking to throw it. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Hurts sets up to throw it. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Here's Hurts to throw. And that will be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now. Back deep is a very dangerous Mike Hughes. This is fielded at the 27. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, here's Cousins. And complete to Drake London. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. First carry of the game now for the Texas superstar, B. John Robinson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Cousins on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Mack. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Cousins. He's got his man, London, right side. 
Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him up to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. From the two, here's first and goal. Right there, Robinson is into the end zone. It's a Falcons touchdown. Extra point forthcoming. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit jumpy. Oh, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. But you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. Barkley inside handoff. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll look to throw. Work 
in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So finally completes his first pass. Credit the defense, though. They've been showing him some different looks, keeping him off balance. Yeah, I like, I like the observation that you had there because when you give him different looks and give any quarterback different looks, it takes just a little bit longer to process sometimes, and you don't throw the ball with the same confidence. You know? Well, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. But that's Grady Jarrett who forced his way through to register the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Second down. Here's Hurts. Oh, he's hitting. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Cousins now after the fumble recovery. He completes this one to Mack. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 41, here's second and two. On play action, Cousins. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Hassan Reddick from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. Well, they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Smith catches left side. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. But well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Play action. Here's Hurts. Pressure comes, and down he goes. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. The pressure that time right up the middle, and he was able to wiggle in there pretty easily and get the sack. Yeah, sometimes you end up getting caught in a little bit of a breakdown about who to block up front, and that creates the gap there. And he took full advantage, got to the quarterback, and finished off the sack. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. 
I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. He'll drop to throw. Looking here for Smith downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They definitely got to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be Falcon football. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Cousins now. Short throw caught by Pitts. The result only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. Second down and six now from the 26. As they've got it as we resume action. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. On third down, Cousins. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Hassan Reddick. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every route that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Here's Bradley Pinion now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fielded at the 43. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. But first down, Hurts. And this is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing his hurts. They juked him. Oh, and now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being Johnson? Touchdown! Saquon Barkley. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Well, the Falcons back out getting set for this next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. That's where the right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. So the completion good for just three, and it's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From the 35, here's a second and seven. Now Cousins. A quick throw there is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. They'll throw again. Cousins. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's a first down and then some. A 32-yard pickup. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line. And we have to here. The protection... That's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellows up front. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. This second and four. Play action now. Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. And Pitts is going to pick up a Falcons first down as he'll be brought down just outside the red zone. Mark him at the 21. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. A first down throw for Cousins. He finds his man complete. That's Mack. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Here's a second and five. Cousins. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Mack. It's so close, he gets it to the run. Out of bounds right there. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Again, it's Cousins. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now a second down throw for Cousins. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Charlie Warner from a yard out. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. 
Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive the less into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Hurts. The improv act there, good for nine. And now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Here now, third and a yard. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one. You know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that's off the mark, incomplete. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he'll be stopped at the 46. Gain of three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? coming up and making the big time play. Here's third and seven. Burt sets up to throw it. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. It's a seven yard gain there and it's good enough to move the chains. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. He's got Smith here. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. 
You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Now second and three. Here's a give to Barkley. Dances by him. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On first and ten, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So eight yards on the completion there, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Now coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Over the middle complete. It's Brown. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. Now he's got it. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Elliott Good with a PAT. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stuff. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Robinson up the middle, shedding the tackle, and gives him some room. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Cousins. 
And caught by London. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. 38-yard line, second and nine. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Third and two. Cousins. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that in Dean picking up the first. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here and have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second and 10. To the air again, it's Cousins. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Throwing his Cousins. this time down he goes and they're going to take a timeout defensively so with fourth down coming up they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens Final play of the half, Cousins. He's going to look deep down the field. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Two able to connect on the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Cousins to throw it. His throw incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. On third down, Cousins. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. Third 
fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be Eagles football first and 10. Throwing his hurts. It's caught. Smith. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. And you're starting to sense the momentum possibly changing just a little here. You get the touchdown in your previous drive, then you force a punt, and now this is a good positive play here to start this drive. And you can just sense the tide starting to turn here in a one-score game. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him. And it's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver all alone by rights, that should have been a touchdown, but somehow this ball's overthrown. Second down, here's Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That one covers 29 yards, first down. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Five yards, now it's third and five. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Third and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 17-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And it's caught. From six yards away. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, an extra point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. Do 
supposed to say on what we got to do here. That's right. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. We got a brand new ball game, all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. A first down throw for Cousins. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. The throw over the middle taken in. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 16. First down, Falcons. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They go play action. Cousins. A throw right side here going to be incomplete. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Now a second and ten. Now Cousins. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Ali. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. To throw is Cousins. Got a man, it's London. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll throw again. Cousins. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Call that a very strong gain of 24. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Here's second and ten. They'll run this one right with Robinson. They'll get this down inside the ten for a pickup of about three. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Cousins. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now in the afternoon. And the Falcons have taken the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good. 
they will take a seven point lead. the touchdown here's coup to kick off this fielded right at the goal line and he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line philadelphia getting sent to take the field and the points they have come fast and furious in this quarter you really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now do you because you're either thinking my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now, well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Hurt sets up to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Play action. Here's Hurts. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 20-yard line. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's Hurts to throw. 
And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. And partner guaranteed they approached this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is too far out in front. He couldn't haul it in, incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? The Eagles send out their punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. with that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Cousins on first down. That's caught by Werner, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ali. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 24-yard line. So he gets too far beyond the line, and that's an easy call for the official. So we'll get the penalty all sorted out when we get back. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. It's the Falcons. They've got the football. They've got the lead as we get set to start the fourth. Again, it's Robinson. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Handoff now to Robinson. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. On third down, Cousins. And he is caught. And he's taken. 
taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down when his way it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. First down, here's Cousins. This to Picks, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Falcons have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Taken at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. And they had a long drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drop. Well, a few different things that you carry forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is keep your defense off the field. Mm -hmm. gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least, uh -oh. if you've taken a good look at what you've done on offense, noted where the weaknesses are, and you know when you want to come back to them. Like when you're organized with your points. Well Point done. A, B, and C. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. A first down carry for Barkley. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 70 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Second down, here's Hurts. Got him in, it's Brown. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 31-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. 
Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. This is second and eight. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Atlanta prepped and readied for its next possession. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive, and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. And Pitts is going to pick up a Falcons first down as he's up to the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first and ten, it's Robinson. Taken down at the 42. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Cousins. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 42. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. It'll be a minimum pickup, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Oh, 
Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run again here with Robinson. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. A give to Robinson on the option. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. They'll come up facing third and five. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Certainly some pressure here on Young Way Koo. This to perhaps salt this one away. Two knocks this one through the post. And that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. Who just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. Britton Covey going to bring it out of his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down by 10. A little over 20 seconds to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Another try, second and 10 now. Throwing is Hurts. Complete seven seconds remaining. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. He'll look to throw. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. 
And let's face it, this defense has had a share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So a win here for the Falcons, and it was Kirk Cousins, the veteran, who really led the way. Yeah, he really caught this defense up, didn't he? Threw for almost 400 yards, had four touchdown passes, and when he gets back to the locker room, there's a game ball definitely in his future. I can guarantee you that. That'll do it for